A journey to the early monasteries of the Himalaya should begin at Nyarma, which is among the three earliest monastic sites known of the period of the Second Diffusion, and is clearly attributed to Ringchen Zangpo. Nyarma is located a little off the main road heading south from Leh. In a fertile valley in Spiti is the monastic temple complex of the Tabo village. This is the earliest functioning monastery of the Second Diffusion. It is believed to have been founded by Ringchen Zangpo in 996 AD. The main assembly hall of the Tabo Monastery is an architectural Vajradhatu mandala. Stepping inside the doorway, one enters the mandala itself. All around are the deities depicted in the sculptures and paintings. A statue of Mahavairochana is seated at the apex of the arrangement. The sculptures of the temple are made of clay. Thirty-seven almost life-size deities are placed at a height upon the wall without any support from the floor. They appear to hover in a heavenly space. Not very far from Tabo is the village of La Lung. The Ser Kung or Golden Temple at La Lung is one of the most beautiful creations of the entire Himalaya. The walls have been transformed into a heavenly realm, peopled with gentle bodhisattvas and goddesses. These deities are arranged around a figure of the Shakyamuni Buddha. It is a world of serenity, yet one which elates the worshipper as he looks upon intertwining creepers and numberless mythical beings which populate the spaces between the deities. The Narku village at about 13,000 feet altitude in Kinor has an early temple complex. The main temple is called the Lotsava Lakang, or the temple of the great translator Ringchen Zangpo. This temple has some of the finest surviving wall paintings of this period. Located in the fertile pockets of the river valleys of Ladakh are the closely associated temple complexes of Alchi, Mangyu and Sumda. All three are believed by the people of Ladakh to have been created by Ringchen Zangpo in one night. <laughs> 